Well, it's not a blowy day in Bangor, for once. <laughs> it's a rather wet day in Bangor. I'm glad to say that the rain is easing off, the sky's beginning to brighten, but it hasn't been the finest. Yesterday was a horrible, horrible day, huge blowing winds. But on the plus side, it did give us an opportunity to meet up with some friends that we haven't seen in a long time. Uh, when we were in Baltimore, um, we met up with Anne-Marie and Kelly off Meteor, and they then went up to Scotland for the winter, and now they're on their way back down to the south of England. We're going to Lymington, and apparently their boat Meteor is up for sale, and they've got a website. Now, I'll just point out to you that, you know, look at the date. Um, this is 2024, okay? So if you're watching this in, like, 2029, the boat's probably been sold, just letting you know. But it's an unusual boat for, for these waters at any rate. It's a, I believe it's a Cherubini 44, which I think is an American or Canadian build. Um, the boat is certainly registered in Canada. And it's a lovely boat. It's in beautiful condition. Uh, inside is a lot of wood and <laughs> a fair amount of varnishing, which as you saw in recent episodes, we have been experiencing and the joys of varnishing. But um, yeah, if you're somewhere in the south of England, which is where they're taking it, I believe they're going down to Devon or Lymington or Plymouth, somewhere around that area anyway. And the boat is for sale. So if you're interested, you know, get in contact with them. I'll put a link down below. And if you have an interest in that kind of boat, well, there you go. In other news, we had planned to go sailing today. <laughs> That's off. <laughs> That's definitely off. <laughs> yesterday, we could have probably made it all the way down to Lymington or Devon in about 20 minutes with the wind like we had yesterday. Um, probably from the wrong direction, to be honest. But there you go. So... The boat jobs I was doing today, or was planning to do today, was to clean the boat, get underneath in the dinghy, do things underneath, but none of that is going to happen now. So, I'm afraid we're going to fall back on... <laughs> we're going to fall back on our tried and tested one for this season, which is to revisit the archive and things like that. Now, our, our last set of um, little movies that we did um, dumped you in the Isle of Man, and we then magically made it back to Liverpool, because in that particular one, we did made the we made the passage at night and filming at night looks a bit like this so we didn't really bother um that's where we got to and then after about six months we fitted our autopilot and all the rest of it got some new gear and um then we left and we went on another adventure ironically enough <laughs> back to where i am today banger <laughs> oh lord the number of times we went up and down the irish sea it's untrue but um so what we do, what we thought we'd do is cover that journey. It's um, when we went to the Rathlin Maritime Festival, which we thoroughly enjoyed. And it's the day, the journey, the passage, in which we discovered <laughs> that we don't like the North Channel. And we still don't like the North Channel. And we never will like the North Channel. But there you go. <sighs> oh, and we'll also just need to introduce two new members of the crew. Uh, there's Moo Kai, who was a rescue Kai. You know the way you get rescue dogs and you get rescue cats and things like that. Well, Mukai is a rescue Kai. We rescued it from my mum's previous dog, who's now dead. Um, so I guess we didn't rescue it from that dog, but we rescued it from the next dog who it was given to and he didn't really seem to like it very much. So Mukai is a rescue Kai. Um, and we also came across Waddle. Now, Waddle's story is interesting. We came home one night and we found Waddle strapped to the front of the boat. Somebody had zip-tied the poor little devil and... What, what, what could we do? We couldn't say no to a penguin. Of course, the worry was that our penguin would say no to the penguin, but apparently they're getting on quite well. And um, all seems to be good. So we've got two new crew members, Mukai and Waddle. <laughs> and if you, know who strip, if you know who strapped Waddle to the front of our boat, I'm not sure you should let us know. <laughs> because we might have to take steps. <laughs> right, put all that aside. Time for the main feature, movie time. Boat projects don't always go according to plan.
and I had got ourselves sorted because we we're going to get the engineer here and all this sort of stuff and you know we'd got ourselves sorted to uh, for the boat we've just had a phone call the um, gas supply man can't come today so <laughs> we've got everything out and now it's all had to go back in and we've still got our old cooker hopefully we'll get this job done sooner rather than later so the gas man has cometh, <laughs> cometh the R, cometh the gas man, and uh, our old Bavaria cooker, which has served us so well, is looking very, very seedy and sorry for itself. And the new cooker, which is over here, this is the back of the cooker, is going to be all fitted up. And look how nice and shiny it is. It's like a mirror. Yeah. So while I'm looking at all this beautiful mirrored finished stuff, somewhere down here is a rather grubby looking hole and. A rather grubby gainer. And and shock horror, I'm doing cleaning and Bev is not having to use a hide just <laughs> to see me clean. Yep. Bye bye Liverpool. Oh, be a good while before we uh, come back here. Softy lass, how are you doing? Hopefully I've got a massive big smile on my face because we're out of Liverpool at last. I tell you, it was one thing after another. I mean, so today uh, we had friends over for a cup of tea, had a slice of cake, all that sort of stuff. And it was lovely. It was lovely because at the end of the day you've always got to make time for friends. And you know, we're tr expanding our friends because through our YouTube, <laughs> but we are out and it's brilliant. And yeah, we've got a reef in the Jenny and two and a re two reefs in the main. Yeah, but I'm sailing. Yeah, so our autopilot is letting us have a tea break. Way over there in the distance is Liverpool. Well, the uh, sun is starting to go down, and I'm definitely ready for my night sail. Yeah, but you look more like you're going to go for your first kit. Oh, Don't worry, I'm on watch. usually like to be well um, organised and cooking under passage but this time I'm not organised at all so I'm trying to cook some toast which is classic especially when I'm a bit healed <laughs> yeah a nice little cant on our cooker it's just brilliant not too sure what's going on down there. There's a lot of noises, laughter, swearing, and a few other bits and bobs going on. It sounds like there's chaos in the kitchen. There's some chaos in the kitchen. <laughs> and he asked you to make a cup of tea. It's just gone past sunset. And we have managed to get the sails completely up so they're all the way up to the top so we've got full sail out no more reefing oh, well it takes a while to get settled in um, to sailing because it's been uh, so long since we've been out at sea um, also <laughs> You, you get a little bit apprehensive because we've done so many things to the boat. We've uh, changed the standing rigging, um, we've um, sort, you know, removed lots of wiring <laughs> to try and make it easier on the wiring systems. 
Um, so we've done that. Um, we've touched pretty much every part of the boat, uh, even through holes and things like that. And you just have this little nag. Is there something that you haven't done? Have you not got something right? And it's hard to sort of like enjoy the sail because you've just sort of like, have I done everything? I'm pretty sure I have done everything because she's sailing beautifully, but you know, there's still that little worry. There it comes. For Beverly, it's the chance of warmth, but for me, it's the beginning of a beautiful day. Well, we're only having a coffee break here at Peel. No, not. Beep! Well, we're only having a coffee break here at Port St. Mary because the ideal time to go through the calf of sound, calf of man, is in half an hour's time. So we're going to have just enough time to have a coffee and then we're off to peel. <laughs> oh dears. We've got, we've got three places in our plan mapped as to where we're going to go. Port St Mary, Ramsey or Douglas and by the end of the uh, passage we'll be in Peel. Hmm, I think we uh, need to have a bit more variance on where we're supposed to go. On the other hand, I look at it this way. Um, we're adapting to circumstances. Yeah. There's no wind today and with no wind the calf sound becomes very doable. Very doable. So. Or so they tell us. Yeah, well, uh, they've, they say it's very doable so let's go do it. Half a sound next, a little bit of waterway with an absolutely horrendous reputation, but it's a challenge and I've taken it up. This is it, this is what the fuss is about. This tiny little bit of sea between here and that peak and over there. And if you pick your times right, and get the wind and weather right, it doesn't seem to be too bad. We've just transited the calf of man. Thank you, pilot. Uh, when the 